Welcome to Motorcycle Test Kitchen. I'm Doug from Amen Moto, and today we're going to discuss how to keep my motorcycle from melting. So after a few long hauls on the BMW GS, I noticed that I was getting heat issues on the right side pannier. The exhaust system on the GSs don't ex exit all the way out to the back of the bike. Um, and with the uh, Jesse panniers being metal, um, it was trapping a lot of heat in here. Um, and it was getting to the point where I was getting worried about what I could put into the right side pannier. Uh, certainly no aerosols, liquids, electronics, that sort of thing. So it was really limiting about how much I could carry in the right side pannier. Um, and then I noticed that uh, I was getting a little melting on the reflector on the right side of the license plate. I said, well, I got a real problem here. So a little research on the internet, um, and I found XL throttle control. And this is a guy named uh, Tom Dowell, who runs a little business out of his, uh, out of his own shop. He's a longtime machinist, um, does a lot of quality work for uh, making specialty parts for BMW GSs, and he's got uh, parts for GSs going way, way back. But one of his specialties is the exhaust tube extensions that he sells. And these are pretty cool. Um, they're made specifically for the type of GS that you have. These are for the water-cooled, because we've got the square exhaust pipes. Uh, but he makes them for the, uh, the, the other, the oil heads and the air heads um, exhaust extensions. And it, it's a fairly simple install. Basically, you take the plastic cover off, pound the exhaust extension on, add the springs, put the plastic cover back on, and you're all done. So um, that's what we're going to do now. So thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. All right, the first thing we need to do is to remove the, uh, the plastic cover that's over the muffler. We're going to use a T25 Torx. And get in here and turn this the right way. This one's a little fiddly because of the uh, pannier racks. And then there's one on the inside. We'll get that one. So we have, we have the cover off and we can get to uh, install this. So the way this is going to go on is that there is no top and bottom. This is just going to fit on there. We're going to pound this on as far as we can get it. There are two springs that come with a kit. The long spring goes on the top, short spring goes on the bottom. And we just slide everything back together again. So let's see how this goes. OK, we're supposed to pound this on with a block of wood so not to booger up. The beautiful stainless steel. I don't have a block of wood, so I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. So you can also use a rubber or plastic mallet. Okay, and now we will install the spring. So there are two springs that come with a kit, a long one and a short one. So the short one goes on the bottom, and the long one goes on the top. Long one goes on the top. All right, and now the fiddly part. If anybody's ever done drum brakes, you know how difficult this can be. There we go. All right, voila. All right, and the last step is to reinstall the plastic cover which we will do now. Okay. I'll put the three T25s back in place. Make sure you start them before you tighten them on. Make sure you get good alignment on everything. Okay, and the last most important thing is, what does it sound like? We know it looks good. What does it sound like? It sounds exactly the same <laughs> as I would expect.
right, fairly, again, fairly simple installation. Um, I want to thank Tom Dell from Excel Throttle Control, um, also Excel Cycle Machining. I think he's got a couple companies. Um, we'll post his, uh, we'll add the link to his website where you can look up um, where you can order these pipes or, or some of his other products. I just want to mention a big thank you to Tom. He's got such a great business model. It's very rare these days. Pretty much, I sent him an email. He said, okay, I'll send you the part. When you get it, send me a check. It was really unusual these days. And that's uh, an old school thing, and I really appreciate it. So I want to make sure I give Tom a great thumbs up and, uh, and a thank you for, for being tr a trusting individual these days. And it's a very rare in a business model. So thank you, Tom, for, for your excellent products. And um, I want to thank Wes for allowing me to be on Motorcycle Test Kitchen. If you have any other th videos that you would like to see us do, uh, you know, technical videos or product reviews, you get something specific that you would like to see, leave us a comment and we'll get you a video. Thanks again for watching. Look for me over on Amen Moto. And everyone, ride safe.